Welcome to Rick's Corner. With a longtime friend, Danny Phillips, who I've known since before, since before they developed water, <laughs> or possibly dirt. So I met you, in what year was it? 1957. Where do we meet? A public restroom? Oh, I can't remember, but uh, we both played guitar. I remember that. Well, I remember that, that I was looking for someone to play guitar with, and I used to always play with my, my, uh, round, my what do you call it, the uh, real, real recorder, do my backgrounds, and I'd play with it. And I remember you came over, and we started playing, Yep. and we decided to take it to another level, and we took it down to, I think we went to one of the um, Masonic clubs or something. We played at a dinner. Do you remember that? That was it, at the, at the Demolay dinner. Demolay dinner, and then they served us some sort of a roast beef, and we played on stage, and that was a big thing to us. We oh played boy. a song called Scoothy and Switchblade. That's it. Ooh, I remember <laughs> that one. I remember that one. Well, then we took it, and we got a drummer, and we moved on, and we got uh, Craig Wilson as another guitarist. Yes, he is. And then we started playing for other uh, functions. Yep. I think we got some dances. We got some after-school dances. We also did some parties out at Craig Wilson's ranch where they ate barbecued steaks, and we got drunk as a snuck. Yep. Remember we had, that? We had, to, uh, we had to get drunk to get paid. That's right. <laughs> Hated that. Oh, I know. That was fun. <laughs> we had a good time. But along the way, and you know that because you were along there with me, I decided to make a left turn, and I went into uh, lifting weights and bodybuilding. I don't know what attracted me to it other than looking at maybe Joe Weider's muscle and fitness back then saying, I want to be like those guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I was 148 pounds, and I lived on orange juice bars. But you remember that, and you guys used to tease me. I remember quite well, yes. And what was the situation? What were you teasing me about? Oh, well, you would say uh, you'd lift up your shirt and say, look here, I got some ripples in my, in my stomach, and we'd all laugh at you. Why did you we, laugh at me? Oh, we just thought that was funny. We never th thought that you'd take it to where you did. I never thought that I'd take it to where I did. <laughs> but I, I know that we'd have band practice, and, I, and everybody else was going out on Friday nights, and I'm in the gym working out like a monster thinking that okay I'll go out later my mom would call the gym owner and say send Rick home dinner's ready and yeah. he'd say I'd be there <laughs> and I'd never make it but you know years move on and, and things change and you, you went on and you became a teacher and you became a wonderful musician yeah been playing almost your whole life was you can't you can't count the beginning of like because the first five years we don't know what the hell is going on and the last five years we sure don't either that's true so you've been playing most of your life and you've done real well with it and now you're retired yeah and you email me once in a while whenever my wife lets me on the computer oh, I good. do <laughs> good but in your mind you never thought I'd take it that far huh not in the early days and now well we all wanted to join a gym and get you know, get fit, but uh, that lasted about a week or two, maybe. <laughs> well, you just kept at it. I know I was persistent, and and that's yeah. what. And for the viewers that watch us and, and go to bodybuilding.com, that's what it takes. I mean, you have to be consistent. It's not always the, the most fun thing to do. It's 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 good for me. It's right for me. It was the road I took. Um, when I go out to eat, I don't always enjoy myself because I eat a certain way. When everybody else is having fun eating their desserts and stuff, I'm thinking I can't have it. Although now I do a little bit, but in the end it paid off. And did you, did you ever think in your mind that I'd go into wrestling? Never, never gave it a thought. That Not was a, back then. That was kind of a weird thing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, I think I was kind of into that because of uh, Strawley Stadium, where wrestling began here. Uh, it showed me the way when I used to go with my dad. He used to take me down and watch the matches on Thursday night, and I thought, wow, that's something maybe I might like to try. Unfortunately, he died when I was 18, didn't know I was going to go into it, yep. and then I started getting into it and, and had my first match. Did you come down to watch me? Well, uh, a few of us did, and uh, I remember uh, as a joke, we threw some brass knucks in the ring. Do you did, remember that? I don't think I remember that. Did I get my ass kicked? No, you, ne you never picked them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are today after all these years, just had lunch, and we get to talk about the old times a bit, which is a lot of fun. And they're good memories, and uh, they'll always be there. But I'm really happy that you came with me today, and that we can spend some time together. Well, it's always good to see you again, Rick. It's good to be seen, especially at my age. <laughs> I treasure that. Thanks, Denny. I know my fans will really like hearing what you had to say. You're welcome. I appreciate it. All right, until next time on Rick's Corner, when I have somebody else, this is C'est la vie. Goodbye.